could do with that magic wand. If I had a magic wand, I would remove all the massive fishing boats. I would just wave that magic wand and all the big boats would be banned. They would, they would not exist. I'd make all the pollution just poof, disappear. What I would also do is anyone who's looking to mine underneath the ocean, every time they did, they would get an electric shock <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> it's just like, piss off. <laughs> I would reverse all the negative impacts that Auckland Council and the government have had on our moana here in Tāmaki Makaurau. Yeah, just make the place nice again. I would love to see the Māori of our moana restored so that we are able to enjoy the luxuries that our moana has to offer. I'd like to see more New Zealanders educating themselves, sharing knowledge, sharing stories, sharing stuff on your social media platforms. My vision for the ocean uh, in, in terms of how people make a living out of it is that they do that, but in, in moderation. I mean, uh, you know, you sort of look after the ocean, it'll look after you. I'd like to see more people asking where their seafood is from and asking whether it was caught sustainably or not. I want my family and future generations to enjoy a clean ocean, a happy ocean where everyone's sharing good vibes, having fun. My children and their children and other families and all their children, I just hope that this ocean gets better so they get a chance to, uh, you know, to enjoy it the same as we have. I want to see more people getting in touch with politicians and sending messages, joining organisations, rallying together, signing petitions. I would love to see more people giving back to the moana because it's given us so much. I want the ocean to be living healthy like I want my family to be. What we do now affects our future. There's so many different ways that we can actively work towards the protection of our moana. It could look as simple as having a connection to the moana and it can extend as far as, you know, being a lobbyist. Every person should change the way that we consume things. Have a look in your cupboards. Do you actually need five deodorants all in plastic? What are you actually using? What do you actually need? If I'm being honest and truthful and genuine and I'm positively trying to make a difference within myself and my little environment, people see that and it gives them confidence that, hey, you know, we can change too. If you live here on Earth, it's your responsibility to give back to the ocean, to look after the ocean, to be guardians of the ocean. You know, everyone just respecting it, everyone just feeling like the ocean is a part of them. You know, it's not separate from us, it is the same. You know, if we don't respect the ocean, we're not respecting ourselves. Give yourself that name today, Guardian of the Ocean and just ask yourself, what are you going to do today that's going to make a change? I just want to encourage everyone to get in the ocean and enjoy it, you know, then let's just look after it. I would love to see the Modi restored in our waterways um, so that we can leave behind a better moana and a better Aotearoa for the next generations to enjoy. I know that we, when we all get together, when Aotearoa bands together, we can really make a difference. We can really give back to our ocean.